Hi, I'm Bob with uh, Premier Water Cleaning Systems, and I'm here today to show you the Solatex C Series brushes and how they come. Um, this is a C1000 with the splash guard. You can order it with or without. If it, if you order it with the splash guard, it comes in the box with the brush. And if you go ahead and open it. This is what you're going to see when you open up the box here. You got the, uh, you can, visibly you can only see the splash guard. There's a little instruction manual. And uh, uh, to take it out of the box, you just flip this up and pull these wedges out. It holds in the, uh, the, the standoff disc here. Just pull it out. Now you get a good view of the whole brush system here. These red discs are for storage only. Um, take them off before you use them to wash. It prevents the uh, brush from being damaged by too much pressure on it. The splash guard simply comes off like that, just snaps right on and off. Um, I do recommend uh, getting a Velcro strap and putting it through here as extra, you know, secure um, when you're washing. Sometimes they will come off, but uh, it's pretty pretty secure unless you hit it with something. Um, it comes with two tools. And I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Just. So it comes with a big hex screwdriver and a little Allen wrench uh, key unit. The screwdriver is for removing the filter, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And the hex is for removing the whole inlet, which they call the water pit. Um, so a little bit more about this brush is um, it is one meter wide. So it, uh, it basically is the width of most commercial solar panels, or um, if you have this panel sideways, it's about half the size of, of most panels. Um, you can attach either modular or telescopic poles to this at, for very long reach, um, and they are carbon fiber. Um, the way these are connected, this is a gooseneck for a modular pole, and basically this here keeps it straight and lined up. Put it in there and simply twist on. Uh, all these fittings are should only be hand tight. If you've got a leak, then you got a bad O-ring. Um, you should not have to tighten it down with a wrench, um, which makes for a pretty easy connection. In the So the C1000 is actually a, a middle section that is rigid with all the gears and everything, and then has multiple um, multiple uh, sections that can be removed without any tools. Um, and basically the uh, just unthreads like that and the threads on this side are reverse of the threads on this side so they don't unspin while they're washing on the solar panels. Um, the brush spins in this direction and that is usually the way you would use it as from the bottom of the solar panels but you can flip it over and the splash guard will fit back on this side and now it is spinning this way. And that's usually when you're going down the solar panels. But you can use it however you wish. Um, so besides being able to take off one, two, three sections on both sides and making it a much shorter brush, you can also, for maintenance purposes, uh, actually take off 
I'm going to use a, a screwdriver for the first time here. Usually it's a little stiff, but really you can just pull it off. Um, so I'm just going to do that. And the whole brush assembly comes off, and this is where the gearbox is. Um, this, there's one side that's a square and one side that's a hex, so you can't accidentally mix these two up so the threads are in the right direction from before. Um, and it literally snaps back together like that. Um, as I said before, you want to make sure you take off these end caps so that it'll actually wash. Uh, without it, it'll just sit there and spin and not clean anything. But I recommend keeping them so that you can store them properly without um, without damaging the bristles. And actually, I prefer to keep it in the box unless you've got something else made up that's nice for it. Um, uh, back to the tools for a moment here. This is the main tool that people are going to need to know about. Um, inside here, there is a filter or a strainer, um, and it is removed by putting the wrench in like that. And actually, you want to do it in the upright position like this so that any debris that's in there won't fall into the brush. Instead, it falls out of the brush. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little screen assembly. And you know, you just clean it off and put it back, unless the screen's all messed up, and then obviously you gotta replace it. I guess I can. So, this tool here. Flip it back over to the normal position. There's one, there's four bolts here, and then one that's kind of an oddball, and it doesn't have a nut on the back here. That's where this goes. And you can, you know, take this screw out, and then this whole assembly with the water jet comes out. Um, that, and they call that the water pin. Well, that's the introduction of the C1000 uh, uh, brush, the most efficient and solar panel cleaning brush on the market. I hope you enjoy uh, cleaning. Have a great day.